Toyota is currently navigating a significant challenge in the EV sector. The company's leadership, headed by CEO Koji Sato, has made a bold decision to halt its EV production plans. This unexpected move sends a clear message to the EV industry, highlighting the reluctance of many consumers to embrace overpriced electric vehicles. As a result, the EV market is experiencing a downturn. However, Toyota is not just stepping back. They have a surprising strategy up their sleeve. In a surprising pivot from the mainstream push towards EVs, Toyota, a leader in automotive innovation, is charting its course. The company, traditionally hesitant about fully embracing electric vehicles, has been quietly working on not just one, but two revolutionary clean fuel alternatives. Let's simplify the situation. Toyota, a global leader in the automotive industry, is making a significant strategic adjustment. They're slowing their role on electric vehicles, reducing their EV production goals by an impressive 40%. Despite their strong sales and optimistic financial forecasts, Toyota is taking a cautious approach to EVs. Toyota plans to sell 11.4 million cars, but now a smaller portion of these will be electric. This raises the question, why would the world's top car manufacturer diverge from the widely accepted future of EVs? Are Toyota's new fuels a superior alternative? Major automakers have been heavily investing in EVs, dedicating a colossal $6 billion to this sector by 2030. Companies like Ford, General Motors and Tesla have ramped up EV production only to face a startling realization. The demand for EVs is not as strong as anticipated, except for Tesla, which still benefits from being an early adopter. In the US, traditional automakers are incurring losses on every EV sold. The sales cycle for EVs has significantly slowed down. While they were popular in late 2021, interest has waned. Despite general appreciation for EVs, the high costs and concerns about range, particularly for less expensive models, are deterrents for many buyers. The changing consumer sentiment is evident in the numbers. In 2021, 86% of US consumers were considering an EV purchase, but by 2023, this figure dropped to 67%. The higher cost of EVs compared to gasoline vehicles is a major factor. For instance, Tesla had to reduce its prices by 30% to sustain sales. The Ford F-150 Lightning, starting at $50,000, is significantly more expensive than its gasoline counterpart, which starts under $37,000. Similarly, General Motors' Chevy Blazer EV starts at $56,000, compared to $37,000 for the gasoline version. The primary culprit for these high prices is the cost of batteries. Tesla is slowing down its $1 billion plant in Mexico, GM is delaying its electric truck production, and Ford is reducing its EV investments by $122 billion. Sales of Ford's Mustang Mach-E have plummeted by 53% in just over a month. While EV sales are growing, they are not keeping pace with hybrids, which are experiencing a surge in popularity. This trend presents an opportunity for Toyota. With the EV market in decline, Toyota is refocusing on hybrids and developing an innovative solution that promises a 1,000-mile range at nearly half the cost of a new EV. Akio Toyota, the president of Toyota, has shared some thought-provoking views on EVs. Speaking with automotive journalists, Toyota expressed a sentiment that resonates within the industry. He suggested that many in the auto world are quietly questioning the sole focus on EVs, feeling pressured by the trend rather than being fully convinced of its merits. This reflects a significant perspective in the industry, the uncertainty about EVs being the singular path forward with many professionals opting for silence in the face of prevailing trends. Toyota has been vocal in its stance, especially to governments and industry stakeholders. Toyota emphasizes the ambiguity in the current transition to EVs, advocating for a diverse range of solutions rather than a singular focus. He has openly questioned the practicality of mandates like California's 2035 ban on gasoline vehicles, citing concerns about the current state of technology, infrastructure and market readiness.
Toyota argues for a more measured approach, emphasizing that forcing consumers into high-priced EVs is not a viable strategy. One of the key reasons behind Toyota's measured approach to EVs is the aspect of cost. While Toyota's investments in electrification may seem modest in comparison to others, Toyota points to the company's extensive history with battery-powered hybrids. He suggests that Toyota's overall investment in electrification, when viewed in the context of its long-term commitment to hybrids, is substantial. Toyota's position is nuanced, acknowledging the potential of EVs but not fully committing to them at this juncture. Even though Toyota's new CEO, Koji Sato, had earlier promised to focus on EVs under investor pressure, the company's approach remains cautious. Toyota, under Toyota's leadership, faced criticism for its slow adoption of EVs. Despite increasing global demand for battery electrics, the company's emphasis on hybrids was seen more as a permanent stance than a transition towards EVs. Despite this criticism, Toyota hasn't completely sidelined EVs. Shareholder pressure, including from influential groups like New York City's Controller's Office and the California Public Employees Retirement System, has pushed the company towards a more proactive EV strategy. The previous CEO was replaced by Koji Sato, partly due to investor dissatisfaction with the company's pace in embracing EVs. Under Sato's leadership, Toyota has introduced new initiatives such as a dedicated EV platform and plans to launch 10 new EV models by 2026. However, the company has stopped short of committing to a full transition to EVs, leading to frustration among investors and environmental activists. Toyota's target of selling 1.5 million EVs by 2026 seems modest, especially when compared to Tesla's production of over 440,000 EVs in just the first three months of 2023. However, Toyota's innovation extends beyond conventional EV technology. They've developed two groundbreaking technologies that could redefine the automotive landscape. The first is the ammonia engine, born from a collaboration with GAC. This 2-litre engine stands out for its ability to emit 90% less carbon dioxide than traditional petrol engines. It represents a practical, eco-friendly innovation that addresses the unique combustion characteristics of ammonia. Additionally, Toyota is making strides in hydrogen engine technology. This approach focuses on using hydrogen gas for power, distinct from traditional water engines. With a patent for a water-cooled hydrogen combustion engine, Toyota is tackling the high-temperature combustion challenges typically associated with hydrogen. Demonstrated in a racing vehicle, this technology showcases Toyota's commitment to high-performance alternative fuel vehicles. Toyota's venture into hydrogen fuel cell vehicles, particularly the Mirai model, has been gaining momentum, showcasing an increased interest in alternative fuel sources. After a slow start, Toyota has reported a significant 166% increase in global sales of its hydrogen fuel cell vehicles year on year. This surge in sales underscores Toyota's dedication to expanding its range of automotive technologies, moving beyond conventional internal combustion engines and EVs. Yet, Toyota isn't turning its back on electric vehicles the company is actively enhancing its battery electric vehicle lineup with a special focus on the Lexus luxury brand. The incoming CEO, Koji Sato, has clarified that while Toyota is stepping up its efforts in EV development, this doesn't mark a major departure from its existing strategy. Toyota aims to sell 3.5 million battery electric vehicles by 2030 but it also remains committed to exploring a variety of technologies, including hydrogen power. This strategy aligns with Toyota's goal of achieving carbon neutral vehicles and reflects its broader vision of providing customers with diverse options to suit varying needs and markets. So what does this mean for potential EV buyers? If you're considering purchasing an EV, it might be worth waiting a little longer. Prices could decrease further, and better deals might emerge down the line. Toyota's current strategy revolves around a cautious approach, focusing on hybrids for the immediate future. This situation poses a thought-provoking question about the direction of the EV market. Should Toyota commit fully to electric vehicles, 
Or is it wiser to diversify into hydrogen, hybrids, and ammonia technologies? 